Hi guys, me back again, third of a series of uh, Canadian versus American cars. This time we're going to do the Monarch. Back in 1946, um, right after the war was over, the Monarch first appeared. It was basically a Ford body and, and Mercury body. They were all pretty much the same in those days and they uh, had a horizontal bar grill on it there. And uh, that continued to 48. And then 1949 was when they restyled the car like the Mercury, but there's what the front end of it looks like there. Had its own distinctive grill, and the rest of the body is pretty much the same. It had a Mercury interior, Mercury dash, Mercury engine, and I think it had Monarch on the wheel covers. 1950 was uh, a bit of a change on it. They had a more of a chrome surround around the grill. And the parking lights were a little bit different, a little larger. 51, they changed again. They uh, changed the grill again, but they were still pretty much the same car and, and changed uh, accordingly like the Mercury did that year. And uh, 52, 53, 54, they uh, had another body child style change and they were pretty much the same as the uh, Mercury in those years and the exception of the grill and uh, I think some interior differences but they still have the Mercury dash on it there and the emblems uh, front and rear emblems are a little bit different and then 55 they changed again and uh, there's what a 56 looks like, but 55 is almost identical to the 56. But I'm just going to use this one because I don't have a picture of a 55, but they were very similar anyways. And they're basically all Mercury in and out, and engines were the same as a Mercury, but just a little bit different side trim. And then 57, they're a major change again, and that's a Lucerne Tudor hardtop. And then they had the Turnpike Cruiser Tudor hardtop, which is identical to the Mercury uh, Turnpike Cruiser in the States. But the only exception was they had single headlights on the front instead of dual headlights. Uh, and they only came in a free 12 engine. And I believe the 368 was a rare option in the Monarch that year. And there's the uh, more pictures of the Monarch. They had the Richelieu, which was the same as the Montclair. The only exception is the uh, grill is different. Had horizontal bars and a V emblem in the front, and it had the crown hood ornament on the hood. And then that four door sedan, and the two door hardtop, and then the Lucerne, which is bottom of the line, it's equivalent of the Mercury Monterey, and that same tr side trim. And the except only exception was the grill is horizontal bars and the back end the trunk emblem is different and there's the interior of the Monarch Lucerne and the rich little interior and there's the instrument panel of the uh, Monarch same as the Mercury and there was none in 58 because they were coming out with the Etzel so they uh, Quit making the Monarch for one year, but the Edsel kind of ended up being a flop, so they came back with it again as a Monarch Mark II in 59. So you can see the difference there. The grill was totally different than the Mercury that year, but side trim was pretty much the same on it as a Mercury, uh, and there was very little difference on it there otherwise. otherwise. And then the hubcaps are strictly Monarch. And they had three series there, the Scepter, which was replacement of the Turnpike Cruiser, and then the Richelieu, and Lucerne. And then there's the Richelieu, four-door hardtop, and the rear view of the Richelieu. And we have the front view of the Richelieu. And you can see the difference in the grill. Have the Richelieu again. Side view of the Richelieu, four door sedan in the Richelieu model, and they were using the 57 hubcaps again. And then the Lucerne, which is bottom of the line, which is the equivalent of the uh, Monterey, 
like I said, say the uh, Richie was the same as the Montclair that year, as far as interior trim goes. And there's the Lucerne four-door sedan on the front of the Lucerne. And there's the interiors, the Scepter, the Richelieu, and the Lucerne, which is identical interiors, and the instrument cluster of the uh, Monarch. And then the engines you could get for that year. They had uh, I think, uh, two engines available. And uh, 1960 was uh, changed again. In fact, they looked just like the Mercury, but the only difference was they had the uh, triple taillights on the back, which were basically the uh, lenses off a uh, 58 Lincoln Continental on that year. They and they put them in the uh, oval pods in the back there, where the avert oval taillights were on the Mercury, and then the front grille was a little bit different again. And uh, 61, the final year of the original Monarchs. And uh, by the way, they're all sold by the Ford dealers. I guess the Ford dealers of Canada want an extra car to sell, so they're all sold by the Ford dealers. So there we are, the side view of the Monarch. Now you can see it had a very wide uh, chrome molding on the on the body, uh, two-door hardtop. And the four-door sedan, they only had the Richelieu that year. And you can see how uh, the uh, grille was totally different. And then the back end, they had oval tail lights instead of round like the Mercury. It had a big crown in the center. And you could have got a 352 engine or a 390 in it. And there's the interior of the 61 Monarch. And that was the it for the original Monarchs. And then the Curiosity came back with them again and... 75 basically based on a Granada and they carried that model on to 1980 when it was discontinued for good at that time so I hope you enjoyed the uh, Monarch story and uh, next one I'm going to do is on the uh, Meteor bye for now